Hey guys, it's Art from the Skater Dope here. This is Dior today, it's going to show you how to program an NS timer to count up in seconds and after a specific amount of time it's going to stop um, and yeah, I'm just going to stop the time, going to stop after a time. So we can create a new Excel project, we can take a view based application, choose, we're going to name this NS timer count up. We shouldn't extend this editor here. And then we're going to go to the view controller header and create an NS timer. Oops. NS timer, name this timer. Then we'll create an outlet for the label that's going to be counting up and that's going to be counting up. So, seconds. We're going to create an action, and the, what this action does, it makes the timer start. So, obviously, I'm going to go to here. Dot M. Paste it in there. Build and voila. Succeeded. So, now we're going to go to the NSM kind of view control dot zip, which now opens up interface builder. Um, now we're just going to set up the interface here. So, I'm just going to drag in a UI label and a uh, UI button, a uh, red button. I'm just going to extend this, and this is for the count up. Go to zero, center it, connections, outlet, file zone, our seconds, then Add the action, spread it out, name that, start. Touch up inside, file zone, start, save, quit. <coughs> now we can do this following code. Timer, go to um, NS timer. Sorry. Um, schedule time with interval. Um, hit escape, and then make sure it's the second one on the list. Enter time interval. Um, this means how many seconds you wanted to update. Target self selector at selector um, count up. Okay. Yeah. User info nil repeats yes. I think it will be okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. If we have any errors, we can just change. No. So we can create an out. We can now can create a void statement over here and count up, which is what we did there at selector. Then we can do. Oops. Sorry, guys. I forgot something. Yeah. And we can create an integer. Name this one main int or something like anything. So now we're gonna go. And into here main int is equal to zero now count up is going to be main int um plus equals space one semicolon and the label is called seconds dot text is equal to um, in a string string with format at quotes um, percentage i and then main int plus a bracket um, semicolon build and go wait, yeah build and go and yeah it's succeeded Now we'll just hit start and the thing starts counting. Now after a specific amount of time it's gonna stop. So we we can do it right now. If is an if statement, main int is equal to so ten seconds. And we're gonna do um timer invalidate and 
seconds dot text is equal to air quotes timer stopped at 10 seconds just look at um no, um close quotes to my column <coughs> now I can build and go so now start now when it gets about 10 seconds it's going to stop and say time to stop that 10 seconds there we go time to stop the 10 seconds so i hope that tutorial was useful for you in any way you can you can use it for anything at like game timers so yeah subscribe rate comment bye